Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Leos, Sun, Moon and Rising. As you guys can see here, we've already uh, shuffled the deck and pulled out the cards for time purposes. So let's jump right into your reading, Leo. So as you guys can see here, for the month of September 2018, we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is feeling emotionally, ex sorry, not emotionally, feeling physically exhausted. For some of you guys, this could have to do in regards to a relationship. Uh, it's almost like you've gotten to the point of no return, uh, about to give up, you know, about to throw in the towel. Um, now we do have here the full card and the full card does represent a new beginning, but I feel that more than a new beginning, you, okay, for those of you guys that are in a long-term uh, relationship, if you guys are currently dealing with the person that has been a cheater or that has um, lied and been sneaky about certain things, with the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands is telling you it's time for you to stand your ground. Um, someone is definitely tired of it. So this could be you, uh, Leo, or this could be your partner as well, where they are like physically exhausted, mentally exhausted, and they're just about to throw in the towel. Now, the full card is, again, the, disease, the desire to want to start new or the desire to want to give each other the opportunity again. This could be you, Leo, or this could be your partner as well, like I said. Nonetheless, with the Nine of Wands and the full card together, this is definitely symbolizing that one is playing the full card. So, again, like I said, if you've been dealing with a partner that constantly you catch them uh, texting or you catch them on social media communicating with other females or other men who is really playing the fool here in this situation is it you that you continuously keep giving them the opportunity to prove to you that they're worthy or is it them that you continuously keep giving them that opportunity that at this point they really don't care and they continuously keep doing it because they assume you will continuously keep putting up with that so this is something that you have to decide for yourself leo stand up for yourself and again, be more mindful, be more mature in regards to people's characters always come out. Uh, whether they suppress it now, it will eventually come out and it comes out through actions. So again, um, you have to be honest with yourself. Who are you, you know, if you're trying to convince yourself that your partner will change certain characteristics about their personality, whatever that may be, um, it's time for you to own up to it and face up to it. Um, don't completely put the blame on your partner as your partner is the way they are. Take self-responsibility for the fact that you keep assuming you're going to be able to change this person. Now, of course, this message is not going to be for everyone, but those are the messages that are coming through. Uh, so take with that whatever resonates with you. Now, we do have the Ace of Swords here, and the Ace of Swords is, again, the need and the desire to want honesty, to be completely honest with one another. Nonetheless, instead of having honesty, someone is being sneaky and lying and being deceiving, as we do have the Seven of Swords here. The Seven of Swords could also represent things that are being kept in the hidden from you. And with the Two of Swords, there is a need for you to make a decision. Not making a decision or not making a movement is still making a choice to be stuck in that situation. Now, for others of you, um, with the Nine of Wands, there's been some type of physical exhaustion. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been working a lot of long hours, uh, putting a lot of effort into the business or the company that you work for. Nonetheless, there is a need um, to rejuvenate yourself. There is a need for you to make sure that you take care of yourself and pamper yourself. Um, this could be either going to a spa treatment. Uh, this could be just as simplistic as having your eight hours of sleep. Um, but make sure to take care of yourself as there is a need for you to be grounded. And more than grounded is, again, uh, to your for your body to actually get some type of rest. Now, the full card does represent new beginnings and the Ace of Swords, again, uh, a lot of new uh, beginning type of energy. Nonetheless, there is a need for you to be completely transparent in regards to a situation. This could be with a partner. This could be with an ex-partner. Uh, this could be with, you know, the baby mama. This could be with the baby father. 
Um, but there is a need to bring the cards to the table and be completely honest with one another. And this has to do, again, like I said, communication that is coming through to you in a sneaky way um, that your partner could be saying. So this could be like, uh, you know, that type of immature type of energy where they say something to your child and then your child comes back and tells you. Um, it, just pettiness is what I'm hearing. So again, uh, be mindful not to let those kind of things trigger you, Leo. Um, you're much smarter than that. Uh, be completely honest and transparent in the sense of, you know, knowing and, and knowing and accepting to yourself that other people, you may not have control over other people and other people's actions, but you have control over your actions. You have control over your person. Do not let other people, uh, other people's sneakiness, other people's, you know, pettiness or immature type of energy affect the way you feel or affect who you are because of the, their comments or how they may see you or feel about you or whatever. At the end of the day, there is a need for you to release that type of energy. We have the two of swords here. The two of swords is feeling stuck, feeling like there's no progress in regards to a certain situation that has to do with, again, for some of you guys could be with a partner that you're currently with. For others of you, it could be having to do with a partner from the past. Nonetheless, do not worry about what they say, what they comment, whatever it is. Let it go. Let it go and let go of that, you know, that passion that ties you so closely to the anger or frustration that you may feel is still having an effect on you. So again, with the two of swords, there's a feeling of stuckness. And this stuckness, again, will continue to happen until you release yourself from this person. How do you release yourself from this person by not no longer allowing them to get a rise out of you? Uh, I feel that this is a very petty type of energy. We do have the uh, the seven of swords next to the ace of swords. So the ace of swords, I feel that this is you, Leo. And the ace of swords is a very honest, very loyal person, very transparent. Nonetheless, when you are dealt with, as an example, you have a person of integrity and of character, and you are confronted with someone that's sneaky, that's petty, that uh, just likes to steer the pot, it, it creates, like, it brings out the worst in us, and I understand that. Uh, I could totally relate to that. Nonetheless, know and understand that how you react to certain situations says a lot about what this person is capable of getting a rise out of you. So do not allow them to do that, okay? You are much stronger than that. Uh, you're much wiser than that. And you, Leo, you're the lion. You know, you're the king of the jungle. You have to be more strat strategic. You're supposed to be more or you should be more uh, calculating in your moves. So again, do not ever allow anyone to think that they could get a rise out of you or that they could have some type of effect in your life because you're much better and grander than that. So again, learn to either ignore it, let it go, or um, whatever you do, just don't scoop to their level. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Alrighty? Bye.